some people believe that maybe you are expressing disappointment over the current leadership because they have failed in their promises. Were you rooting for that, this current leadership at the national level, or are you part of the old school that doesn't like our current president's military rule? What, uh, you know, I wrote it there then in my book, Militarization of Politics in Nigeria, and I wrote in my article that enough of this militarization of politics in Nigeria that the military should not be dictating who to govern us. So what's been happening in Nigeria is that the military is too involved? Is they are being you... involved. Look at those who have been military, who have been presidents since we have the, what I call civilian dispensation, not de democracy yet. Democracy is not a uh, 100 meters race. Well, we had uh, late Susmar Yaradwa and we had uh, President How Jonathan. many years? The first one, okay, but was the first one since 1999? He spent eight years. President Lusha Sanjo. And how many years did he spend as a military head of state? So this is what we are saying that they keep on, you know, uh, Alexander the Great, going back to security now, Alexander the Great says, and I quote, I'm not afraid of an army of lions led by a sheep, but I'm afraid of a of an army of sheep led by a lion. What is the situation now? The earth men and other people, the abductors, the kidnappers, they seem to have taken over. And what is the security, what are, what is the, what are they doing, the security agencies? This is why I'm saying that the politicians too, professional politicians, they are now happy getting from the crumbs of the military, whether it, particularly the, the retired ones. They are now the ones dictating. And that's why I wrote in that book again, and I'm going to be practical. And I wrote that certain people, though I wouldn't like to mention them, but until you get it, I it's want you to book. Be, <laughs> It's in the book. It's in the book. That certain meant... people and co, please let Nigeria be. Until we know what we need. Need is different from want. Politics is not just throwing money or you go here and there. Politics is for service. And that's why I wrote that strong structures are better than strong people, strong people we face out. Two things I would like you to respond to before we leave, because by the time, we, by the time your elections in your state, where you, where, you, where you reside, would happen pretty soon. And I wonder, and just before, sometime in May, there was this issue of violence already erupting in your state. I wonder how you feel when you see such things and what you wish would happen. Uh, you know, blessed Pope Paul VI says that peace is not the absence of uh, war, but the presence of justice. What is happening now in Nikiti State? Again, this do or die affair. Do or die. Mm -hmm that the electorate must be well enlightened. Generally, and particularly in my state, Ekiti State, we must be well enlightened. But they're enlightened in that state, they're professors. Uh, education is different from enlightenment. Somebody can get a degree, and by the time the person gets a degree, you tell that person to come and defend that degree. Yes, we have professors who profess well. Let me use the language of uh, Professor G Gary 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 Gana. Gana. Yeah. But in my state, and I would like the elite too. The elite, they will talk, they will write, but do they go home? How many of them go home to enlighten the people? When I say home now, I mean in different states of the Federation. Of the federation. It is when we are ha we elections are coming, you will see people coming out to be having foundation and empowerment. When they lose the primaries, by the way, most of the times there is no real, real uh, pr primaries taking place. So most of the times, the people, they are being bamboozled by the people in power. So yeah, what are you wishing for Ekiti right now? Right now, Please. I would like those concerned to see themselves as Ekiti people, and it's, uh, it's an Ekiti person who will be the governor. And, you. <laughs> and all of us must see ourselves of coming from the same source and the same heritage. Mm -hmm. 
Every life is very important. I hope he tells her like that. Uh, we, we need to pray, but we must walk our prayer. We need to talk, but we must also walk, walk our, our talk. talk. I would like you to just, would you extend this to the 2019 elections as well? Yeah, 2019 elections, you know, people... Do you think we can gain traction at all in 2019, or we should be hoping for future? Uh, you know, the desire is still there. 2015, so many people said there would not be Nigeria. You know, Nigerians, you know why we are still standing? We have shock absorbers. Is that good, though? To have shock absorbers is very good. That is being hopeful people, too. That is why we are strong. Because if not, June 12, what happened in June 12? June 12 is your real democracy. My, my real democracy is June 12, because without June 12, 1993, we wouldn't have made 29, 1999. So what I'm saying is that for 2019 to take place, we, would, we must have a PVC too. And again, enlightenment is very important. That's why this, uh, is it young, uh, young debut? Uh, not too young to run. Not too young to run, and we are happy. Must there be a bill for young people? To, how many of them have got the PVCs? This is the enlightenment. That, and, I, and I thank you for the work you are doing and your team. We thank you. This is part of the enlightenment that I'm talking about. But again, we need to go beyond talk. So I'm wondering, how can people get access to this? Because this book is quite rich. How did you publish it, by the way? Uh, you know, I've been saving because I spent its millions. Instead of me to be getting, state of, uh, to be getting vehicles uh -huh. what, and other things. You were saving money to publish this? It's in 2007. And I made it a personal project, not a diocesan project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even I told them in the diocese, the parishes, don't launch. I'm surprised. You, if you want to buy, you are free, but don't launch. So the, and the idea you had with this is just to get people to see. I want people to read, not just seeing. I want people to read what, is, what has been happening in my country, in your country. To what extent? For what purpose? For us to act. Ignorance is no excuse. But when you know what is happening behind the stage, you'll be able to stand on your two feet and say, here yeah, I am. This enough is the time. Enough is enough. enough is enough. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir, for being our guest. I wish I could go on, but we'll definitely invite you again. Thank God at least you could come for all the way from Ikiti to be a guest on this show. Oh, I thank you. This is really, seriously speaking. <laughs> and we must take seriously for Nigeria to be where God wishes it to be. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again next week. Like I said, our meet and greet series starts. So some of the people who are running for leadership will be here as guests. You'll enjoy it, I'm sure. See you again next week. Bye.